Hey everyone, today my team the Fantastic Four will be explaining the five phases of the system development lifecycle, which we also call SDLC for short. So the first and foremost section in SDLC is systems planning. Systems planning is a great idea to start off with because it's the phase where we acquire key resources that need to be fulfilled to achieve an accurate end result that is agreed upon at the start. Planning ahead is extremely important before diving off into any of the other sections of the cycle. Without systems planning, a project is almost 100% of the time bound for failure because it won't have any sense of clairvoyance or any layout within the project at all. In the systems planning phase, key resources such as personnel, feasibility, schedules, and budgets to meet the final product are developed. Another step within the planning phase is to flag problems that may be current issues or issues a team may run into in the future phases of the project, and it's the time to discuss how they can and will be eliminated. System analysis is the second phase of SDLC. It is designed to analyze what you need for the specific project. You need to understand and document the business needs for the new system. You need to gather information on it, define the system requirements, build prototypes for, your dis for discovery of requirements, prior towards the requirements, and generate alternatives for if something goes wrong. Then you have to review recommendations with management and then hopefully you get the project. Design is the third phase of a software development lifecycle. Design is a technical blueprint of how the proposed systems will work. The purpose of design phase is to transform the all requirements into complete and detailed system design specification. Design phase includes all internal and external interfaces and all resources that are required in the system. Now I'm gonna show you one example without planning and uh, designing. You can see in this picture it built without designing and planning. What's all I'm trying to say is uh, designing is the one of the most important phase of uh, SDLC. System implementation. Implementation is a stage of a project during which theory is turned into practice. Okay. First comes the coding. For small programs, one person can do, but large programs are divided into groups or to several individuals. Before actually implementing the new system into operations, a test run of the system is done removing all the bugs. The programs should support all the devices and browsers. There are two tests, program test and system test. Program test when the programs have been coded and compiled. It should be tested individually to remove errors. The output of the test run should match the expected results. System test. After the program testing for each program and errors removed, the system test is done. At this stage, the test is run on actual data, hardware and software installation. The hardware and the relevant software required for running the system must be made fully operational before implementation. The conversion is also one of the most critical and expensive activities in the system development lifecycle. Now user training. After loading the system, training of the user starts. It includes how to execute the package, how to enter the data, how to process the data, how to take out the reports. Documentation. There are two types of documentation, user documentation and system documentation. The user documentation is a complete description of the system from the user's point of view, detailing how to use or operate the system. It also includes the major error messages like to be encountered by the user. System documentation contains the detail of system design, programs, their coding, system flow, data dictionary, process description, etc. It helps to understand the system and permit changes to be done to be made in the existing system to satisfy new user needs. The final phase is system support where the aspects of maintaining, enhancing and supporting users come into play. During the maintenance stage of SDLC, the system is assessed to ensure that it does not become obsolete in any way. This is also where changes are made to the initial software. It involves continuous evaluation of the system in terms of its performance. This was the Fantastic Four giving a quick guide to the five phases of SDLC. Thanks for watching our tutorial.